Here we are, once good. again. Good, good morrow, I believe is the traditional greeting. Good morrow, good evening, good day, good night. Uh, we're back. We're back again. to whatever time zone you happen to be in, viewer, this time. Don't worry, we'll be there, uh, thanks to the wonders of Her Majesty's Internet. It is delightful. And how long has it been since we last graced Her Majesty's Internet? A couple of weeks, maybe. A couple of weeks. Oh, it's yes. um, not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think the viewer would share that sentiment that maybe we overload them with cultural uh, stimulation. I think we might. Oh, be. Max, isn't there something in the oven? Oh, damn it, I forgot. I hope they're not burnt. Oh, well, you better God. go and check. I better go there was check. A, there was Please. a program in the 1970s. I can't, I can't wait. Oh, I can't okay, wait. Okay, I you can't better wait. go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Boom. Max, there was a marvellous television programme when Ooh, I was growing hot, up. Hot, oh, hot. is it very hot? Ooh. I hope they're not burned. Good, I hope not too. They might be well done. The, bre the brilliant thing is you just put some cellophane, some leaves in the oven, pop it into this uh, cooking uh, chef's utensil device thing here, which says the chef's edition. Chef's edition. Ten so, I mean, Churchill cigars. What, I mean, we put, we put the ingredients for 10 Churchill cigars in there and, and then out comes. pop them in the oven. Out, out comes. comes. And this bit of paper, the chef's. And look at that. They're, they're done to perfection. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh, a gourmet's delight. I would say that um, definitely on a medium to well done scale there. Beautiful. I definitely think it. I think it's a yes, medium well done. Yes, yeah, yeah, but yeah, perfection, yeah, yeah. perfection. Would, would you? Would you season them? Perfection, nonetheless. You seasoned them well. I hope before you put them in. Yes, I believe I did. I believe I did, sir. So. But um, it, I, I love the way you've got the cellophane just to be so glossy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is delightful. Yeah, what you do is leaves a bunch of cellophane and they they, they roll themselves. Yeah, so they do. I mean, it's at the right temperature though. I mean, this is this is proper chef's artistry. So here we are, the chefs, the 2021 chef chef's edition. edition. And uh, just in case you had not noticed, viewer, there is a serving tray where we could put our ves our drinking the, vessels. The serving tray of the wooden variety. Maybe put some cigars in and the middle. And then you there. can you can serve. And I suppose they fit perfectly in that. Uh, of course, they fit perfectly because they've been crevice. cooked by you. Stunning. And that Look, is that is what you do. This is this is just this is just brilliant. That's what you do. And then the, 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 this, this, the, the ceramic, the thingy with Bob is also the an cooking, ashtray. The cooking, chef, the chef's utensil, the numbered chef's utensil. This is number 6,446. That's mine, that's so yours. Thank you very Please, much. Please, Father, take a cigar. Well, thank you very much indeed. Oh, they're still warm from Ooh. the oven. Ooh. Ooh. But look at that. So we'll get rid of the serving tray as the service is done. Service is done. And now service we are on to the consumption elements. Yes, yes. Very excited. So it's... Um, Davidoff's take on a Churchill size, which isn't far off a Cuban Churchill. So 48 ring gauge instead of a 47. Mm -hmm. Seven inches long. With a an Ecuador hybrid wrapper. wrapper and a Mexican binder. Mexican I believe, binder yeah. and then a selection of Dominican fillers. Um, which I shall not name because I cannot remember. So well I happen are. to have I happen to have the what 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 if we're keeping up this okay. gastronomic uh, milieu. Um, I'm g I've got to say, I would have said it's a sort of crib sheet, but we're going to call it a menu. Downloaded from Her Majesty's Internet only five minutes earlier. So what is it? Four chefs worked with four master blenders. I'm going to read to you. Well, can we set fire to it first, actually, so it's not to sort of smells, tax the smells, reader? Uh, smells strong. Yes. Beautiful bouquet. Mmm. Mm. This, this, unlike the, the Quabio de Divinos, the Petit Bouquet, is not a child's cigar. This oh. is something to be enjoyed mm. by uh, a fully grown lady or gentleman. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's good. You need a little bit more. Uh, turn it round, turn it the other way. Look at that. See? No one can say I don't look after you. God, it's so good having a child like you, Max. Oh, all right, I'm going to... Tell me, read, read. 
read to me. Um, read what you used to read to me as a child. I remember I used to read these ingredients of cigars to you and Freddie when you were children. I in, remember, in I crib. remember. Are you sitting comfortably? When kitchen pioneers meet cigar visionaries, the world can expect the highest cigar enjoyment. I think so. The sensitivity and the sophistication of an internationally acclaimed chef's palate is legendary, but it is matched only by that of Davidoff's master blenders. Ooh. So, when four, count them, four of the world's foremost curators of fine dining... Sounds like a Hollywood movie. Blockbuster. ...lent their talent for taste discernment to Davidoff's team of cigar creators. Unsurprisingly, the result is something from the very top table of flavour. After months of co-creation by Davidoff's teams of master blenders, Norbert Niederkoffler, co-owner of Food Space and Restaurant Alpin in Italy, Great name. Juan Amador, Amador Restaurant Vienna, Big time. Masa Takayama, Masa in New York, Ah, uh, yes. Very, 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 very good. Yeah. And Jorge Vallejo from, ah. from Quintonil in Mexico City, have come to an outstanding synthesis, not just any old synthesis, but an outstanding synthesis of a culinary and premium cigar world. Surely there's a better adjective, but anyway, let's leave that. Um, the Davidoff Chess Edition 2021, blah, 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 presented in remarkable, in remarkable ceramic packaging. It is remarkable. It is, brilliant. It's oven-ready. It's a sort of <laughs> oven-ready packaging, they should say here. Innovative, organic packaging. It's innovative and organic. Serves as a second purpose after the cigars have been stored safely in the humidor. They should do a, a microwavable version, I think. You were invited to use the ceramic base as a cigar. We were invited. Invited? To use the ceramic. I wouldn't have otherwise. It's no, like a no, vampire. No, it's, it's not, it's not, it's only a, only you, come in if you're invited. I know. It's so brilliant. It's sort of the, the, the world of hospitality is being invoked mm, here. Mm, mm. In your own home. I love it. I really mm. Please continue. I'm gripped. Are you inviting me to continue? I, I, I am indeed, sir. I'm I've just been invited to use the ceramic base as a cigar ashtray. Do you remember that bit? I'm just carrying on from where I left yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While yeah. the wooden lid serves as a serving serves as a serving tray. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I like that. It's almost poetic. To place spirit glasses and cigar accessories. Oh dear, we used um, it for for elderly flower. Elderly flower, yeah. But. Um, Anyway, I'm sure that we will be uh, granted immunity from prosecution over the use of elderly flour on the spirit tray. Um, it I will don't know if we will, you know. You know what? There's, and also, this great thing about Davidoff, as you know, is it comes with detailed tasting notes to um, calibrate mm. and um, metricize and um, otherwise encyclopedize. Yeah, yeah. The, every, every millimeter of the cigar has a distinct flavor. The Chef's Edition 2021 cigar this fine Churchill with an extra point of ring gauge, will take aficionados, I don't know if that counts you and me, but, it was, but if there are aficionados, not that we are among them, they will be taken. So well, I wonder what kind of journey we'll be taking on. But anyway, these aficionados are going to be taken on a taste journey that starts with a rich creaminess. Has it become with a rich creaminess? For me, I was reading the notes earlier, and I, I hate to get ahead of it, but um, in the last third, they say uh, you, you uh, can taste caramel or I'm caramel. I'm looking forward to that caramel. I think I had that at the first puff. I had something smooth, for Maybe sure. Maybe I lit this the wrong way around. Maybe it's the rich creaminess masquerading as the uh, caramel, anyway. And it supported this rich creaminess, if you're an aficionado and you've embarked upon this taste journey. Um, uh, 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 the first third of your journey of um, palate uh, excitement. Yep. Will be, uh, this creaminess will be supported by notes of pepper and cedar wood. Uh -huh. We don't know which colour pepper or what density of size or granule, but Is anyway. this in the first third? Uh, this is the first third. During the second third, the gentle floral notes start to develop. I do love floral. Nasturtiums are usually the edible flower, I mm. think, really. While I wonder if it's a gluten-free, actually. Um, while hints of cinnamon and coffee are weaved, or not they're woven, they're weaved into the progressing sensory experience. <laughs> it's it's like a drug trip. This, <laughs> it's it's like it's like Ken Kesey. Uh, this is it's fantastic. Go and continue. I'm still listening. I mean, I'm sure the viewer is too. The viewer, the viewer, viewer. You are now, no doubt, embarking on your own sensory journey. You've just popped your um, <laughs> chef's edition into the oven. Um, during the last third of this elegant, the elegant Churchill format, the flavour profile changes into a pleasing caramel taste combined with cacao and the reoccurrence of cedar notes. It's so clever that they weaved the cigar, the, 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 they weaved. They weaved it all together. They weaved it. They like weaved, a master weaver. Yes. Um, 
not a weevil, because that's a different thing. But shall we say that these are, they've woven the top. The weevils have weaved the cigar. Weebles were a toy also. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Ah, was that a 90s thing? Or was that I think that might even been a 60s or 70s God thing. God save us. No, really? Yes, yes. Wow. Okay, so anyway, these cedar notes that will have absented themselves from your sensory journey in, uh, in the second third are now uh, reoccurring from the, from the beginning. Oh, I do like it when... I, I mean, I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to that. Big fan. <laughs> the carefully balanced blend is crafted with four well-aged Dominican filler tobaccos, held together by a Mexican binder, and crowned, no less. Crowned? By an Ecuadorian wrapper. Ah, yes. Delightful. Delightful. What are your... Yeah, get rid of that now. We don't need that rubbish. Um, what, uh, what do you think? What I'm impressed by is that the cigar is firm, yet with an incredibly easy draw. That, I know you really like that. I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite demanding and exigent on many matters, but I have to say with cigars, I much prefer to have it sort of underfilled than um, plugged. But what the, what the, what the um, Davidoff people always seem to manage to do is to achieve this kind of this perfection in terms of what they managed to engineer into the construction of yeah. the cigar. And be because... Because uh, it, it is, it is. I mean, I would say that, I would say if I, if I, if I felt a Havana, not, not, not I, mean, I mean, I love, on the very, very you'd rare avoid, occasion, You'd avoid a Havana that felt like I would this. have avoid, uh, personally, I would yes. have too, I would have too. Because I would, I would feel that there's too much at stake. I was, I was literally about to say the same thing. Um, so it's very interesting to see, and I, I've noticed it with, not so much with uh, the Davidoff um, Nicaraguan uh, blend. However, with my favourite, the Signature Number no. Two, you can often find some real firm ones which draw perfectly. And because of that, the correct amount of tobacco, you'll get a really nice smooth white ash. But also, what uh, what I love is that it tastes as it's meant to taste because they've got mm. all the all the cigar, all the all the yeah. constituents of the cigar are present in the correct quantities, mm, mm. which I think is something that we tend to forget. I mean, we're so, we're so, we're so overjoyed to find um, a Cuban cigar that actually does not, not fail to proceed. Mm, yeah. If that's a quintuple that, negative that fla or something. flavor doesn't really come into the equation. That, that you're so joy, you're so, you're so absolutely relieved that the damn thing is up and running. Yeah. That, um, that you, you sort of attend to sort of forgive the fact that it might not be quite as the master blender envisaged. Yes. Yeah. It's but this, these, these master blenders with the, I mean, I wish I hadn't thrown the, the menu away now. Well, these I, master I, blenders seem to know what they're doing. Well, it may even be the practitioners of the gastronomic arts that they've invoked as well. But I'm still insistent upon them. I think it's the fellow that. from Mexico City, perhaps, I'm tasting at the moment. Then maybe it's Mexican pepper. Mexican pepper. Oh, yeah, th there was, um, but, but I'm still intent on them supplying us with a microwavable version of this cigar. Um, You're so contemporary and convenience-minded, you young people. You just want a ready meal. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? But I think we're going to stop filming, because I think we've just received a very special delivery. So, can we stop filming, please, Amazing. Freddie? Amazing. And we're back from that unscheduled break. As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so good, it isn't is it? So good. It is the best. We were worrying these wouldn't arrive in time, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we were, but you know, they have. It's yeah. uh, and, and, and what a bonus they are, viewer. They enhance our enjoyment of this cigar quite immeasurably. I can taste more of that. These um, should be given out with every box of um, Chef's Edition bought. I mm. think. And it's, 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 it's you know, effectively a smoking hat, but of the culinary variety. Well, I think it's a practitioner of the um, gastronomic arts, or whatever <laughs> they're called. It's so good. Your one's great. Yours is very good as well. You look like the end of a kind of lamb cutlet or something mm. like this that. This is the thing. I love it. I want the miniature ones that go on the turkey. I want the well. miniature ones for the cigar. Yeah, yeah, they should all come, they should with, come, with, with, the they all come with the chef's hat. <laughs> a and, toke. Then, and then a couple of large ones for the smoker. Yes, I think that would be friend. so good. It'd be His so good. And maybe, and maybe you know those, you know those kind of um, those wands that they use to light gas. I mean, mm -hmm. you need you need to have all the equipment needs mm -hmm. to be gastronomically themed. They've really missed out here. I mean, I mean, they could have put a little hat at the top of each cigar. <laughs> it would have been brilliant. I don't see why they didn't. Maybe they will next year for the chefs. Now that they've seen this, this uh, broadcast, this 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 highly serious. Someone's broadcast. kicking themselves at Davidoff. I, right I now. bet. 
I bet whoever's in the marketing department's thinking they really missed out. <laughs> I mean, honestly. We've done it, we've done it. Mm, mm. Because we are, we are thinking of doing Falks and Sons merchandise, aren't we? Didn't you have a... Um, we had the logo... The crest. The crest, the crest. The, the crest. Falks and Sons the crest. The and Sons crest is being designed by the uh, well-known tattoo artist and um, horological connoisseur, Mr. Mo Coppoletta, mm. who also read for the Italian bar. Not the, not the bar where one has a Negroni, but the bar of uh, legal uh, oh, really? artistry. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I mean, he, could, he, could, he can say objection malad in Italian. Objectioni milade. Is that how, how that goes? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. If, I, if I wanted to read from the French bar, it was just objection mon lord. Uh, mon lord. <laughs> mon lord. Mon <laughs> lord. <laughs> or German. Oh, or German. Or German. Or German. Yeah. Genau, yeah, my yeah. lord. Genau. Genau, my lord. My lord. Mine a uh, mine lot. <laughs> <laughs> What have they put in these cigars? <laughs> it's great. I mean, look at that ash, though. It's a beautifully formed ash. I very much enjoy looking at it. The striations aren't the quite as uh, prominent. No, I got quite prominent striations. You do have on some mine. prominent striation, don't you? Mine, that might have been through over, uh, over enthusiastic application of heat at the beginning. Yeah. Then what in I the oven or from your lighter? No, no, no. I think from my lighter because mm. I, I know that you. I mean, I enjoy. Generating that kind of flamethrower. I mean, it's, it is my aim. I think it's the firework flamethrower effect. Yes, it does. It does. The, the striation is um, compromised by that. Yes, yes. But I, I, mean, I tend to be a little bit more gentle. Well, with you tend to be more of a connoisseur about these matters. Uh, I don't know about that. Aficionado, as I believe it was said in the menu. Y yes, exactly. That's the one. But um, what do you think? Stands. I mean, it, you know, Steven stand it. Oh no, I've just, it's gone. I think you're just it's about gone. to ash it. It's ashed itself almost. Well, that's fine. It's about time. There we go. Saves me so getting tell me what... Um, I think it's nice. I think it's great. But what, you know, what, also what I found was those, uh, what were they, Millennium Blends I came across in Spain in the fridge. Yes, and you had the old, you had the 6000s as well. They are outstanding. The They're 6, from the 19... Yeah. Late, do you have any from the shop from the late 1990s? 6000s, no, well, maybe, but not that I've seen. I mean, those viewer... If I can recommend you a great surprise, those cigars were outstanding. I don't think I've had one. I had one from the, the fridge, from the freezer. Yeah, I don't think I, I had the Petit Corona, Millennium Blend Petit Corona. When the was that in the band freezer? Was still in italics. I think so, yes. Yeah. And also a brilliant short perfecto I had, which was aging well in one of your um, plastic Jose El Piedra jars. Mm. Um, with the where the cellophane had gone orange in colour. That was a beautiful I like cigar. that. I like that when that cellophane goes that beautiful orange. I tend to like I inside of Davidoff. I tend to like the signature blends, the anniversarios. The Nicaraguans are good, but l l sometimes a little strong for me. I think a little strong. I like the box pressing on them. The box pressing that seems to be a bit more popular, and apparently there's subtle differences in the blends. Well, I don't know whether what there to is. fill in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> Do they yeah. roll them in a <laughs> But um, there's, there's something about it. There, there are differences. I don't know whether the blend's different and whether it's just the format, but um, something's happening there. But As the I will say now, what I usually say, if any Henke Kellner were here now, he could calculate using um, the Euclidean and geometrical um, mm. norms to establish what, what um, actual, whether the, whether the circular or the squared off profile of the cigar would render the better flavor. But um, I want to... Triangular cigars come. Oh, they do exist. There is no. one. There is one. There, there is, is a triangular one. Hexagonal one as well. I mean, everything's going on. Hexagonal or octagonal, or do you want a hectagonal, which is maybe a nine-sided cigar? I'd it's like a like combination of the both, and uh, you know, combination of the two words mm. and the two shapes inside of a cigar. That's what I want. I mean, it might be too much to ask, but that's what I want. What do you think? What you, I see you. You look pensive. You look like you're thinking. I'm heading into floral. Are you? You've got there already. I can begin to see it. It's like you see something in the horizon. I'm beginning to sense it dancing towards me over the, over the, um, over the pepper and cedar supports. The, the, do you remember the, the, pepper, uh, the creaminess the was sort of supported by the... The pepper like and cedar is quite 
prominent. The creaminess came and left quite quickly, I think. But the creaminess is not so much of a flavour as a smoothness, I find, really. It's like what they More describe... More of a sensation than it is Yes, a you know, I mean, I don't drink, as you know, anymore. But the, when I did drink in the 1980s, for example, there was a very popular... What a time to be drinking that was oh, in the 1980s. the best yeah. time. The wines were the wines of the time. Um, but the, but the <laughs> Chardonnay was very popular. And they used to put it in a, I mean, also a highly flavored. So you got a Chardonnay that was like, literally looked like straw color. Mm. And they used to, dis and it was sort of, I mean, so full of flavor, it would kind of literally, your mouth would expand visibly. Um, and it was described as buttery. Meaning, Interesting. Meaning kind of basically smooth and dark. It was, yeah, I mean, it was what, what one drank in those days, along with lots of champagne. I think it was almost legally a legal obligation to consume a bottle of champagne every day if you were working in the Is this when it was um, not recommended to drive if you've had more than five or six pints? I think that was the, the limit. I think it was more of a suggestion than a limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is great, isn't it? You can't have half a pint nowadays. I mean, those are the... Well, I mean, well, actually, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know when... I mean, but um, I, 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 remember, I remember, I remember, I mean, I don't... Um, I, I can barely drive, let alone drink. But um, I remember when um, there was opposition to, in, to, to the introduction of the breathalyzer, because obviously policemen were intended to judge mm. whether the, the vehicle, uh, the driver of the vehicle was um, intoxicated or not by winding down the window. And if there was sort of came out the aromas of fine wines, you would say, ah, on your way, my good lord, my blood. But if, if the flames came out of methylated spirits, yeah. you would immediately bang them to rights. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandpa has some stories about that, getting pulled over for drinking and someone else in the car having to take over equally as drunk, you know. It's very well, good. Was that, was that the, the wheel of some Rolls Royce or something? I, or don't, know, I don't know what it was, but I, I think he had a bottle, a bottle of wine in his hand at the same time. Which I think is a must very, have been an automatic, very, very then. sensible, very sensible. Must have been, must have been. But I think this is a pretty well it's rounded a, cigar. I think it's. I, think I, I, re I recommend a, it. I recommend it. I think uh, maybe a cigar for a more, perhaps more robust person than myself. No, um, I think you maybe you need a robust repast. Do you see what I did there? A bit of assonant, robust repast. You're a genius. I am. It's that sort of use, you are of, the best. use of similar but different uh, what vowels. A, what a world. Well, similar different vowels and consonants. You know what I mean? I needn't have gone to school. I could have just learned from you, sat under your desk. Well, yes. I mean, God, I shudder to think that you wouldn't have been able to follow the career of... Um, we used to, Freddie used to set up camp under your desk with the foot heater, didn't he? He certainly did. And I can, I can congratulate him for that. Yeah. And, and he, he almost got into him. Oxford. Almost, and I visited Oxford in a few occasions. You did attend lectures. I attended a, I did, I attended a lecture at uh, Brunel University. Oh, that's when you were studying engineering, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very enjoyable um, And then subject. you read English and biology, was it, at uh, biology, yep. Oxford? Biology, yeah. I think I went to the biology centre on a couple of occasions. I think they call it, I remember it, ah, oh, yes, the old biology centre, as they used to refer to it. Yeah, the <laughs> ye, ye old biology centre. Yeah, I actually had a complementary education at Oxford and Brunel University, so I didn't. I don't think I did too badly. Anyway, viewer, um, before we go, viewer, I want to um, alert you to the existence on the internet of a program called the Galloping Gourmet. This is what we have modelled this episode on. I think rather it's a rather pale imitation. What is that? Eighties, seventies, seventies, late sixties, and early seventies. And this man, I mean, they used to sort of do things like almost like deep fried cream. Do you know what I mean? That was what cooking was like in those days. But that's proper stuff. I've had deep fried ice cream, delicious. Really? Yeah. But then deep fried cream, and then you've marinated in whiskey and serve it flambéed or something like this with a bottle with, of wine. With a bottle of wine, just I mean, more Magnum, Jeroboam, Rehoboam, a Methuselah of wine. But anyway. Um, look out for the Galloping Gourmet because it, it is about the glamour of gastronomy. Too often these shows now are too serious. I mean, the, the, the Master Chef, for example, they, they're competitive. Oh, bit, terribly bit, serious. Bit, bit, bit competitive for me. The Bake Off, again, I don't like this sense of competition. No, 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 neither do I. Because if there are winners, there must therefore be losers. And, and we I'm all want, to be, and I'm we all want to be winners in the race of life, viewer. <laughs> we all want to be winners. Um, so look at this gorgeously inclusive galloping gourmet. It is sort of like it's from the era of carry-on films. So there are probably two blanc tendres that would be illegal nowadays. Um, the food definitely would come with a government health warning. <laughs> um, 
uh, and he would he would cook this, and then he would invite a member of the audience up to consume it with a him. Reluctant, his clothes, a reluctant his member of the audience. And was, once he had a beautiful cafe au lait coloured blazer. Oh, that's brilliant! What a world! And what he wouldn't wear a kind of um, a chefing. Uh, no, no, no. He wore he wore dinner wear. jacket and things like this. Um, before before we um, wrap cease up or wrap up, as they say in the uh, the field these days, uh, I would like to also plug another business of mine, <laughs> a secondary income uh, of uh, silver jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting uh, more like QVC. If you, uh, if you are ever interested, the page is C, as in the C, underscore sick, underscore. As in, as you see, we see as sick as in unwell. And, and silver. also as sick as in what the young people describe as good. Yo, yo. And then silver. As, as in, in the, the mineral mined from the earth. The and poor man in gold. Uh, and there is a selection to choose from and quite possibly purchase. Uh, so if you like cigars, of course you'll like silver. And yeah, yeah. Um, viewer, while, we, while you're there, before, I mean, if, we, if you haven't left or What else can you sell? Can you sell something else? Anything else you want to kind of plug? A new book or something? Some I'm available for highly paid work, should it be available? Very good, we like that. But I think also, viewer, in a few weeks, we've got some absolutely astonishing outside broadcast opportunities coming up. Mm. We will be heading to the Middle East. Yes, I viewer. Mean, what a world. We're going to the Persian Gulf. It's quite exciting, isn't it? At the it? invitation of the government. It's brilliant. We do not mess around. The we'll world of Falks and Sons. Two iPhones, two tripods, and some Lavalier. And some Lavalier <laughs> microphones. Anyway, viewer, good night. Goodbye. Good night. And we're see still you in fi- Dubai. See you in Dubai, but we'll see you before. And we're still fighting the virus one corona at a time, Thank very you. unfortunately. Bye-bye.